there, it's Zoe. But enough about me, let's recap. Last weekend, loads of Peninsula residents concerned about AGL's dirty gas import project gathered along the shores of Western Port Bay in a peaceful community vigil. Adhering to social distancing rules, the community stood in recognition and protection of the beautiful marine ecosystem that exists in Western Port Bay and said no to AGL gas. That's right, AGL. Unfortunately for you, the community hasn't been swallowed up by a black hole, never to question your filthy fossil fuel habits again. We're still here, better than ever. And I thought we'd take a little trip down memory lane to just recap how we've protested your environmentally destructive project in the past and your proposition to import gas in the first place. Since Australia is the biggest exporter of LNG gas, it doesn't make sense to import gas back into Australia. Let's kick it off with community meetings. We've had plenty of those. AGL information sessions are a great place to go if you want to get not that much information from AGL. The panelists are experts at dodging Aww. questions related to the environmental impact of the Crib Point project. Attendance at these meetings alone and afterthoughts are a pretty good indication of how much the community is concerned about your project. Sorry. We might have spelled this out a little more clearly at our protests and rallies, which we've had a fair few of now. Beach cleanup days and the regular sharing of animal encounter experiences at Western Port Bay online show that we're all pretty in touch with this environment and we're eager to protect it. Yes, we do have animals in Western Port Bay, including seals, dolphins and whales. Animals that probably won't be too happy about the millions of litres of chlorinated cool water you intend on dumping back into the bay after you've converted LNG into pipeable gas. We made a real statement about the protection of our bay with the peninsula's biggest paddle out, where thousands of people grabbed their surfboards and sups and gathered down at shore and beach in a colossal peaceful protest. Yeah, this event was awesome. We've highlighted the stories and concerns of experts and community members, including the then CEO of Environment Victoria, Mark Wakeham, and Harry Mussel, the mussel farmer, whose business relies on the prosperity of Western Port waters. We've set up information stalls literally everywhere, so we can keep our community informed and recruit new environmentally minded people. People who have realised that sustainable energy is the way to go and there's no point cramming in last minute fossil fuel profits while you still can. We've also got a green chair. And people who sit in this green chair take a snap and show their support to save Western Port and their protest against AGL's dirty gas project. We've had a lot of people sit in this chair. Like, a lot of people. And with this pandemic underway, we've adapted our efforts, hosting online rallies, signing petitions, and having inclusive social media sharing so we can keep our momentum going. Quick plug, feel free to check out our social media and keep up to date with our website for the newest information. And back to this beautiful shoreline vigil we've just had last weekend. An awesome display of community and of unity during a time where we've had to stay away from one another. We're not slowing down and we're not going anywhere. And as long as AGL continues to push harmful, environmentally destructive fossil fuel projects, we will fight back together. Aww. I'm Zoe, that's all for now.